Here we are. Panau Islands. Southeast Asia's best kept secret. It's agency territory, right? US friendly. Not anymore. And that's why we're here. Someone not dancing to Uncle Sam's tune? The old president was assassinated by the new president, Pandak Panay, his son. And he won't pick up the phone. He doesn't sound much like a people person. Right. He's attempting to eliminate all opposition. Sheldon was trying to figure out his agenda when he disappeared. So, what? He's gone dark before. Not like this. Worst case scenario, he's gone rogue. So what's in it for him? I don't know, Rico. But if he has turned, you gotta take him out. That's a bitter pill, King. Sheldon taught me everything I know. Which is why you're here. You know his M.O. <sighs> I can't argue with that. We gathered all available intel onto these memory cards. Marshall here will download them onto your PDA. Damn it! That's incendiary stuff on those cards. They fall into the wrong hands. It's gonna be one hell of a firestorm back in Washington. Whoa! The natives are restless! Someone doesn't like us. Panau and military. I recognize the flak. We sold them those guns. Get back from there! Oh, ah! oh hell. I was running out of ammo anyway. Don't wait up! Marshall is dead, but he's still got your PDA. Catch up with him before he crashes into the ground. For the element of surprise. Yeah? Oh, you think we blew our cover? You got the memory cards. So I guess we're still one step ahead. And where does that step take us? The agency's last contact here on Penal. Carl Blaine. What's his story? A Swedish ex-charity worker. Now a professional gambler and alcoholic. Are we trust a guy like that? No. But we've got no choice. Blaine knows more about this island than anyone. Now kick back for a while. Enjoy the ride. Okay, here we are. Let's go find Blaine. People of Panau, it is I, your beloved president. Today I have issued the order to close down and clear out the den of foreign decadence called Panau Falls Casino. All foreign nationals in this casino will be rounded up and tried before deportation. Let it be known that those who harbor foreign criminals and unpatriotic scum will be brought before the court and I've seen some dumps in my time. But this, this place... Under siege by and immoral it's worse than we expected. Now, now, now. Who are you Thanks. and what is your business here? I'd be careful now. We're friends of Carl's. <laughs> Carl has no friends. Apart from you, Jade Tan, you're his girl, right? Huh. You must be spooks. Spooks. Hoping to talk to Carl. You're way too late, lady. He's at the casino. What? That casino? Sure. That's where he makes his living. Yeah, we're dying ain't much of a living. We need to get there. Fast. Then you better hop on. They'll swap that bird out of the sky on sight. I gotta go. But I'll keep an eye on you. Help you out if I can. So, honey, let's go. Adios! Your stop. If you hurry, you might just save his sorry ass. You don't think too highly of him. If the government gets their hands on Carl, they'll sure come looking for me too. So as of right now, I'm over the bum and out of here. Maybe I see you again. Or maybe not. This island is a playground to some, 
but a graveyard to others. Salamat jalan, spook! Done for you. I'm not here to help you. Unless you can help me find Tom Sheldon. What? I thought it was with you guys. Oh, he was. But now he's our primary target. Oh, ho, ho. ain't no love in the world of international espionage, baby. So you know where to find him? Sure. Good. Now hold on tight. What are you doing, you idiot? Up, up, and away. Oh. You really are one crazy SOB. But I am called Blaine, drunk and disorderly. Now let's go to my car here and I drive you to my crib. What? My beautiful car in the ditch! <sighs> hey, thanks, pal. I was one bullet away from meeting my maker. Oh, you'll still meet him. Unless you get me to Sheldon. Relax, buddy. We'll find him for you. No trouble. Find him where? Well, what I hear is that he went up jungle, started some kind of rebel gang. Fighting for the government, fighting against the government. So much rumor. So get me to this rebel gang. That, that won't be easy. You want me to throw you back to those dogs? But it's not impossible. There are three major criminal gangs on the island. You get in real friendly with all of them, and they sure lead you all the way to Sheldon. Here, give me your PDA. You want my PDA? I need to download for you the intel on these gangs. Okay. But if you mess with me, I will kill you. Ah, home sweet home. Wow, this PDA is some high-tech stuff. Hey, where are you going? I'm downloading the locations, contacts I told you about. That way you can get in real close with these guys. Real close and cozy, you dig? I can't just waltz up and say, Hey, I'm a criminal, and I'd like to work for your organization. Sure, so I'll just tell old crooks of this island that an international gun for hire is visiting Panal. A Mr. Uh, Scorpion. They're always looking for new talent. Okay, but I'll need guns. And vehicles. I'll put you in contact with a black market dealer I know. Here, use these beacons to contact him. If these things fail, believe me, I'm coming back for you. My name is Bolo Santosi. I am the leader of the revolutionary army known as the Reapers. Our goal is for the people of Panau to break the chains of oppression and rise up as one. I hear you are looking for able-bodied comrades. You are the Scorpio, no? I hear you are very skilled. They tell me I am the best. Of course they do. How come you want to join our cause? I'll be honest, comrade. I have my reasons. I'm contracted to find and kill an American. I might be able to help you with that. Who is it? A very dangerous man, with a price on his head. But to do this, I need the help of your organization, which they say is the best at finding sensitive data. Fair enough. It is true that we have eyes and ears everywhere. And it is also true that the Reapers need someone of your caliber. We can make this work. I'll do any dirty work you throw at me. But you let me know anything, you hear? Deal? I think we do have a deal, comrade.
So you wish to be a comrade of the Reapers? Then listen. That pig president, Pane, is always looking for new ways to suppress the people. There's a place high in the mountains called the Gunung Gila Pankat facility, where the military does secret research. The thin air up there is advantageous in their research on jet propulsion and rocket fuel. These secrets would better serve the liberation of the people. So we will capture that facility for the Reapers. Help us conquer this mountain, Mr. Scorpion. And maybe we can be friends. Go with my people, your comrades. Scorpio, the great revolution calls for a hero who knows how to use a gun and explosives. I want you to teach the government a lesson in rough love. I know this is a great talent of yours, comrade. Let me introduce myself. I am Razak Razaman. Some call me Reza. I am the leader of the outfit known as the Roaches. I hear you might be looking for help. Right you are. I have heard about your handiwork, Scorpio. I do what I have to do to get the job done. Ah, that is good. I hope we can reach a mutually beneficial agreement. I'll be honest, Mr. Asman. I have my reasons. I'm contracted to find and kill an American. Interesting. Do tell me more. A very dangerous man, with a price on his head. And they say you are the one to ask. Indeed. If you work for me, you will enjoy all the benefits of our organization, just like one of our own. So, I'll work for you, and you keep me in the loop. Ah, you are very to the point. No chit-chat. I respect that. You have a deal. I am a businessman, Scorpio. I supply what my customers demand. And now the demands of Panao have outgrown my local businesses, and it is time to expand operations. Belabuhan Saudagar is the greatest harbor in Panao, and has always been a great conduit of contraband for businessmen such as myself. Sadly, the president has locked down the harbor to any comers other than that of the government. I need you to help us seize that harbor. It is time Pela Buhan Saudagar got a new harbor, Master. Let my men lead the way. My friend, I live under the fear of one terrible disease, poverty. Those nosy government agents are again trying to ruin me by sabotaging our drug refineries in the city. If these places are destroyed, dope fiends would buy their junk elsewhere, and it would lose us a great deal of business. You must stop the sabotage by disarming all their bombs, and thus keep me from catching that terrible disease. disease. for you. A group of independent rebels in the jungles are associated with one white tiger, who fits the description of the American you're looking for. Then let everyone know I'm looking for this white tiger, and I'm prepared to pay for information. Welcome. I am Sri Irwan, Chief of the Yulars. 
Panau is our birthright, and we are prepared to die protecting it. My group of warriors is always looking for help in our never-ending battle against the foreign devils. That's what they tell. Indeed. Your reputation precedes you. They call you Scorpio. You are known to be a skilled gunman. I'm known to get the job done. But surely you're not here only to look for work, huh? The truth is, I'm looking for an American. An American, huh? I'm intrigued. Yeah. A very dangerous American. With a big price on his head. People tell me you would be the one to know where to start looking for such a man. Ah, oh, but you flatter me, La. But of course I will have my people look. And in the meantime, you can work for me. Deal? Deal. I'll do as I'm told and keep my mouth shut. You'll dig up anything on this American and ask no questions. Hmm, that sounds fair, said Daru. Know this, Scorpion. We Yula boys ever strive for the shift of power on Panam. And what can generate more power than the fission of atoms, I ask you? We are currently not far from the Awan Chendawan nuclear power plant. It is a place that can provide its own much power in many ways. And soon it will belong to the Yulans. But my brave soldiers need your help to take over the power plant, La. Do this, and you will make me a radiant man, Sel Dadu. It is a fact universally true that politicians are easily duped, threatened, or bribed. But there is always an exception. And this is Quin Rang Teng, steadfast and uncorruptible. He is a real man of steel. However, I have ways of fatiguing these men of metal. So I'd like you to bring him to me, comrade, if you are a match for this hero. Tang will be riding in a limousine, as you'd expect. Hijack the limousine and bring him to me. I'm looking for Ken Pang. The sloth demon told me you'd know where he is. Ken Pang, you say? Rings a bell, hmm, but I don't know who you are. Mm, ah, yes, Ken Pang. Now I remember. He has run into some bad trouble with his gambling debts. I hear they are going to have him executed. If you hurry to the old gambling warehouse in the desert, you might still catch him alive. A pleasure doing business with you. Considering the value of the Panwan buck, shooting you would have been more expensive. Pay attention, Scorpio. I will be with you every step of the way. We cannot let Ken Pang be killed. Consider this a business bonus. I heard gunfire. Can we still go through with the execution? Uh, there was a small disturbance. We we dealt with it. Good. I'm looking forward to putting this worm in the ground. Oh, We're course. coming out. Please. I'll get it all back to you. Should have thought about that before you threw away our no, money. Please. I swear I will make it right. Please, not like this. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. I'm not here for your benefit, you worm. I'm looking for the white tiger. Okay. Okay, I take you to him. Uh, get on one of the bikes and follow me. Ouch! Soldiers, there's a price on my head, you know. You're going no place till I've seen the White Tiger. If the soldiers haven't killed them, they've evacuated. Uh, maybe you can find some sort of clue. These people are always leaving something behind. Hmm. A dead drop. Standard agency issue. Weird. I'll plug it in. Hola, amigo! It's your Uncle Shield! So, you finally found the dead drop? You'll be able to get to the new hideout using the tracker on your PDA. I done placed the beacon set to 
your frequency, hombre. Hurry up and get here, and I'll fill you in on the story. Over and out. I guess it's pretty clear. Follow the beacon. Find Sheldon. Drop in, Hyundai. Sheldon? Heck, where's my manners? Some of my boys got a little carried away with their lynching. Ah! So now we got that squared. You know how close I came to killing you? Look at him roast, Rico. Dripping with delicious fat. I got him just where I want him. Kinda like I had you. <laughs> where are you going with this, Sheldon? The sloth demon, baby. Come on, Rico. <laughs> that was me all along. <laughs> I was playing you like a marlin off the keys. <laughs> Sloth Demon. Tom Sheldon. An anagram. You and your stupid word game. Sweet Mary Lou! Government troops! Mind if I borrow this? Might come in handy. Seems I wasn't the only one looking for you. Yeah, that's another thing. Baby panties all over my ass, and my white tiger cover was waterproof. So somebody must have tipped them off that I'm here. Jade Dan? Nah, she's an agency asset. Couldn't you tell? And I thought she liked me for my personality. Then who? My money's on the sweep. He's the only one who knew I worked the white tiger angle. Carl Blaine. He did disappear. Not a trace. Oh, yeah? Hey, give me that PDA. Oh, heck, Rico. You offered to download some intel, huh? Oh. And he put a bug in it. Yep, he picked up a trick or two working for us, it seems. And then when the government caught him... He probably spilled his guts when they hid the booze. There. Now, if we have another barbecue, ain't gonna be no government gate crashers. Rico, my friend, I need you to do what you've been doing up until now. Keep that chaos building. Your gangster buddies are surely in deep with these unknown players, so you need to be in deep with them too. Soon the whole thing will come crashing down, revealing who's behind this big mess. Me? I'm gonna square my deal with my white tiger hirelings. Their job here is done. stealing government diesel for some time. I need you to help us find out how much they know about it. Go to each of their research checkpoints, said Adu, and download the info off their computers. You can fight and you can kill, soldier. But until I see that revolution beats in your heart, I treat you as the enemy. Righteous cause draws new followers every day. The Reapers' ranks are ever growing, with those eager to cast the yoke of oppression off their shoulders. 
We have not the weapons to arm all these recruits, and so we must acquire some. The military has a supply depot that holds all the arms we need, and with your help, the Reapers will claim it. I have, or should I say had, in my employ, a very clever and able hacker named Little Guy. When he was arrested recently, he made a deal with the government so that they will, instead of killing him, deport him to Korea in exchange for information about our businesses. Certain codes and passwords. I need those codes and passwords back, of course. We were at a loss as to his whereabouts until yesterday when we struck gold. <laughs> One of my men stumbled into a drunk who turned out to be the pilot assigned to take little guy to Korea. I want you to go to the airport and find this pilot. You are new to the island, I think, my friend. It would be a scandal of great tragedy if you turned out to be a spy. Have you heard of Kampung Bahari, Serdadu? It is a most sacred village to us, Yulas, as it is the final resting place of one of our most honored ancestors. Many young Yulas travel to Kampung Bahari to visit the shrine there, as I myself have done many times. Unfortunately, our vile devil of a president has no respect for the ancient history of this land, and has barricaded the village in preparation for demolition. He most likely wants to litter the land with yet another casino or resort. This cannot happen, Scorpio. You must help us reclaim what is rightfully ours. Scorpio, my friend. Our pitiful excuse of a president has initiated a Panawan satellite program. It will scorch the soil of our ancestors and cost resources that rightfully belong to the Yula people. Furthermore, it will help the Panay administration control all the media in the country. We want those satellites to stay on the ground, preferably in tiny little, little pieces. Listen, Scorpio, you'll need a plane for this long trip. I'll brief you on the way, said Adu. Glad to see you two have kissed and made up. Agency has all the dirty details now, buddy. So the heat is off. Right. And we have more pressing matters. Remember Jade Tan? How could I forget? Well, Blaine's ratted her out too. She was lifted by the Panawan Secret Service while researching the presence of international intelligence on Panawan. From what we know of this regime, they'll torture her without asking questions. We've got to find her. Fast. Those guys don't hold back on the torture. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this little bird. Sure have missed agency hardware. Rico, buddy, she's all yours. That damn Swede got the spine of a jellyfish. Gonna put the finger on ten. And she ain't just a pretty face, Rico. She got brains. Last contact we had, she was close to learning about Panay's plans and who's causing all this trouble. We need her back. Fast! You don't think she's dead already? Not before they put the screws on her. Now go to the facility where they're keeping Tan, then cause as much chaos as possible. That should flush him out. Remember, check your PDA if you don't know what to do. You have intruded far enough. Now prepare to meet your demise at the hands of my ninja. I 
I hate ninjas. Jinga, she's not here. Take your hands off me! Thanks for showing up, guys. You sure saved my, uh, bacon. Yep. Worth every bullet. Thanks to you, we know who's pulling the crime syndicate strings. Right. There are three puppet masters all wanting to play on the Panal stage. The info's all on your PDA, Rico. Jade will give you the brief. Good to hear. First, there's Alexander Miekov, formerly Soviet Secret Service. He's a trained killer with links to every mob working the new Russia. But whether he's rogue or a Moscow stooge, your guess is as good as mine. mine. Oh my goodness. What we do know is that he's in deep with the roaches. Both share a taste in shiny suits and fat jewelry, I bet. Number two is the Chinese sadist Zhang Sun, a former military intelligence chief. Modern China likes to keep guys like Zhang hidden, but available. His Maoist talk of people power and industrial revolution has got the Reapers eating out of his greasy palm. Nothing more dangerous than a crackpot ideologist. Except an ex-commie with gangster friends. Though I'm guessing you saved the best to last. Right, mister. This ex-general is certainly no saint. His name is Masao Washio. He was ejected from the Japanese army for torturing his own men. Washio's motto is said to be Pain is good, death is better. He's backed by a bunch of neocon industrialists and has hooked up with the tribal Ura boys. They sure must be impressed by this maniac. Man, a gang of worse psychos I never knew. That's for sure. But what has a little island like Panao got to offer them? They want baby Pane off the throne and their marionette in his place. But why, we don't know. There must be some monster prize thereafter. These are serious players. Right. And guess what, Rico? You're gonna smoke them out into the open. And you won't be using no hickory chips. Barbecued pig, anyone? So, what are you gonna do now? What I do best. Cause chaos. To force our eastern bad boys out into the open. Well, try to take a little care of yourself. There'll be time for that. Maybe you can give me a few ideas. Careful, mister. I have a delicate palate, young man. It can taste the subtlest things like the taste of a lie. I know you are not who you seem, Scorpio. But I use you all the same because I need you. They say that oil is the bloodstream of a nation, Scorpion. It is needed everywhere, used for everything, and consumed by everyone. Much of Panau's imported Bronayan oil flows into the heavily guarded Emma's Hitam refinery. If the roaches controlled that facility, it would be good for business, don't you think? 
If you wish to be my friend, Mr. Scorpion, you will assist my soldiers in their little transfusion. Scorpio, I have a small infection I wish you to cure. You see, a band of independent smugglers are using the roaches smuggling routes for their own small time runs. It might seem innocent and even adorable the way they carry on, but I know these small infections soon become great sicknesses. You must kill this bacteria, just like a shot of antibiotic totic. The roaches are in for a deadly surprise. A witness is going to testify against the nephew of that blubber gut raza. I want you to bring me this witness. He will give me leverage over the roaches. I'm going to ride them raw on this one. To find him, you must go to the nearby radar station and download his whereabouts from their GPS onto your PDA. Hmm. You really have to love science sometimes, comrade. Rico Rodriguez delivers. Don't tell me. You found a hickory chip supplier. We hit the jackpot, Sheldon. The Russian, Zhang Sun, and our Japanese ex-general. They're all holed up in the Three Kings Hotel. And the best bit is, not one of them has any idea the others are there too. The Three Kings, huh? I should have known. Hotel's got the best damn bar on Panau. And waitresses to match. All the better for me to check in then. Better book a twin, buddy. I'm coming too. About time I saw some action, Hyundai. Can't let you have all the fun. There she is! The Three Kings! King can't be with us on this one. She'll be in conference with headquarters for a while, explaining what's been going on here. Chinese knew about it. Knew about what? And the Russians knew. And even the Japanese. But you Americans, you were in the dark. I got a positive on the Russian, buddy. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, since you're not the one being shot at. <laughs> now comes Hollywood to stake the claim. Too late, Buffalo Bill. Send me my tank! Now! Taste the wrath of Mother Russia! I got your six, buddy! Heads down! Beaten me, but not my homeland! Yeehaw! Here comes freedom, baby! Sheldon, I didn't know you still had it in you. Rico, buddy, I'm as American as apple pie. And you know all real Americans hate commies. Finally you come! I thank you, army boy, for defeating my Chinese and Russian competitors! And also for allowing me a chance to test my impressive battery of satellite-controlled missiles! Who knew?
But you are none the wiser. The world's eyes turn towards Panau, but you remain in the dark. Indeed, America is now a blind monster, fighting without knowing why. Get back here, Rico. I fixed you up a mean margarita. All three superpower heavies eliminated, and still time for a beautiful margarita. I'm betting whatever brought those boys Pan away is the same thing that's made baby Panny tear up his contract with Uncle Sam. Figures. What now? It's time for the big squeeze, Rico. You need them factions thinking you're their brother, while you take them apart from the inside. More trouble there is, the more likely that baby's gonna show his hand. And that's when we break it off. Nice work, Hand Eye. Cities are on fire, the gangs are running amok, every man and his dog is attacking government forces. And just like we hoped, that sniveling coward Pane has fled the city! And you got a lead on that little runt? All on your PDA, good buddy. Baby Panay's hiding place. Not for much longer. Won't be easy though, Rico. Once you've flown to the canyon entrance, you're gonna have to go in on the ground. The base and the palace are heavily fortified. My suggestion is that you call in one of your best faction buddies for support. I'll do that, my friend. Though I won't need any help cutting that dwarf down to size. <laughs> Just make sure you put Baby to bed for good, Rico. Cause when you're done, it's time for a little of what we do best at the agency. It's time for a little regime change. Of course, now I remember. Barbecues aren't your only skill. Well, thank you, Rico. A man likes to be appreciated for more than his suckling pig. But choose your faction wisely. They're gonna be with you all the way to the end game. It's the devil's company. But I guess I'm used to it. You would like to cut some cane with me, huh, Scorpio? Thanks for the offer, but I can offer you something else to cut. Baby Panay's throat. I found where he and his troops are hiding. Oh yes, most definitely. You just show us where. At last, the people of Fana will rise and shatter the chains of the imperialist oppressors. At last, the hour of the people has come, Scorpio. Using your information, I have created a plan for the attack. I shall be leading the attack via radio. Being a figurehead of the revolution, I am much too valuable to the cause to be harmed. Farewell, brave comrade. Ah, I have been expecting you, the American agent. Please tell me you are not also here to steal Panau's beautiful black gold. Oil. I should have guessed. Always this damn oil. Oil, la. Uh, more oil than any reserve on the whole planet. I am going to control the whole world. Oh no, little man! Not if I can stop it! Oh, hell. It was you, Panay. You who destroyed the only thing I love. And now that Jade is dead, we'll die together. Imbecile! <laughs> Grotesque! I command you to stop! Get that grenade away from me! Throw it away! Oh yeah, Jade is still alive. She wanted to tell you something about uh, never seeing you again. Our personnel evacuate.
the area. Self-destruct sequence initiated. All personnel must clear the area. The facility will... You know, it would have been polite to let me in on some of the mission details. It's all on a need-to-know basis, buddy. You know that. Hmm. I should have killed you back in the jungle. And miss out on that suckling pig? You'd have been crazy. Now Panay's dead, we got the all, and I can get cooking again. Sorry, no time for pleasantries, boys! Country's up for grabs, and we got tankers from the superpowers all heading this way. Doggone! Guess the barbecue's gonna have to wait. No hard feelings, huh, kid? No, but just remember that when it's your ass on the line. Well, sure thing, Rico. Now, you just keep shooting and lady killing. Let me handle the espionage, and together, we'll secure this all for the good old U.S. of A. It's time to protect and survive, boys. Chinese, Japanese, and Rusky super tankers are headed here. All of them are looking to secure the oil for themselves. Uncle Sam sent backup out from every damn atoll in the South Pacific. I want you to patrol the area in the chopper and take care of any non-American dare stick his nose in. President Panay, you're supposed to be dead. You forget, I am invincible. Especially now I can destroy who and what I want at the touch of a button. Yeah? How are you gonna push buttons when your fingers are broken? You will find my digits are working perfectly. And now, you die. of excrement, you big pig! Ah, you think you have one? That would be my impression. I have news for you. I have four nuclear missiles ready to blow. So if the Chinese, Japanese, or Russians try to screw me, <laughs> well, they're in for a nasty surprise. And the fourth? What do you think? It is of course pointed at the very wart on the face of the Earth. America. And with this, I take my leave. You. I am invincible! Cannot die! Great! The Japanese know you want! I will have you flogged for this! I'll have them tear off your skin and bolt you to a tree! Your suffering will be the stuff of legend! Looks like you'll be spending some time with your beloved oil after all! New target acquired. What are you doing with the guidance system? Oh, just a few minor changes. Still ain't sure why you nuked the damned oil field. You lost your mind, buddy? The spoils of our little revolution. That fossil sludge would have started the mother of all wars. And you know something, Sheldon? I'm not gonna die in no apocalypse. 
Just so some fat cat in Washington can drive his SUV to the hill tomorrow. I don't think the agency's gonna be smiling. Do you have any idea how much that oil was worth? Sure. But it ain't worth dying over. Damn, Rico, that's as just a cause as any. I guess. Besides, who's gonna tell him? It's all on a need-to-know basis, right? That's right. I should know. But what happens to Pinal? Well, since the oil's gone, all the others have lost interest. It's just us now. Pinal gets a new US-friendly president, and we continue to monitor our special little part of Southeast Asia. Home of the best barbecues in the East Indies. Got that right. Here's to a brighter tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. To a, a brighter, brighter tomorrow. tomorrow. Salute.